Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you the modeling of parametric furniture in SketchUp. So let's get started. So for the first step, let's go to the front view and switch to the parallel projection. And here you need to create a 2D sketch for your furniture, uh, which is like this. Uh, if you don't like this, you can create your own shape. Now let's delete all these dimensions. We don't need it anymore. Now let's use the filler command from the 1001 bit tool. Now fill out all these corner. You can use any filler radius you want, and you can put any segment you want. And now let's select all these line and curve, and use a well command to join it. Okay, now let's use a scale command and scale it up a little bit. You can scale this any more you want. Now select this cross section and use a move command and we are going to copy this and you can place and arrange this the way you like. Okay now we are going to use K command uh, for this cross section and scale it up and now scale this. And scale up this about 1.15 unit. And let's do the same for this cross section. Now let's use the Kavila command and select all these cross section one by one. And click on confirm. Now you can use any setting you want. And if you satisfy the result, you can click on the empty space to confirm it. Okay, now let's uh, delete all the cross section. We don't need those anymore. Now get into this group. Uh, we need to close this hole. So let's use the line command and trace on this edge. Now let's do the same on the other side. Now select this group and use the slice command and let's chain is z to y and put the spacing any spacing you want I'm going to put 3.4 or 1.5 let's put the thickness about 0 0.5 and this inside start and end must be 0 and choose no here okay and click on ok Okay, as you can see, we got the result that we want. That's look pretty good. Now let's get into this groove and select all these components and let's apply wood material. Now let me show you the another example. For that, let's use the Bezier service command. Click on this origin and let's create a square rectangle. Now let's uh, create a component from this. You can give any name you want and click on create now let's use the meta command and marry to the uh, right side and select this too and marry to the uh, other side now get into one of this component and select this vertex and press ctrl and select this vertex and let's move it in the y direction uh, about one feet Okay, now select this middle of this and move it in the Z direction too. Okay, now let's change the subdivision level to sustain. You can tap any amount you want. Okay, now select all these and create a groove from it. Now get into this groove and select all these components and right click and choose uh, explode. Now select this groove and use the join push pull to add thickness on it. And let's change the offset to 1 inch and click OK. And now click on the empty space to confirm it. Now select this groove and use the slice command. And choose one for the exit. And here you can use any setting you want. 
If you want to get a good result, you should try with some certain funds. Now, uh, let's click OK. OK, as you can see, we got a perfect result for the parametric table. I hope you got the same result. Now, get into this group and select all. And let's apply wood texture on it. Okay, after that, you can place a mirror on the top of this table, just like this. Okay, now select this and let's apply some glass material on it. So, that's all for today, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.